All right, we're gonna go over the worst possible failure that you can experience in an M60. And we're just gonna take a little bit of a closer look here to show you what causes this. And the failure that we're referring to is your bolt getting stuck in the chamber of your barrel, just as the title of this video suggests. And um, the reason that we're, we're doing this video now is we, we got a bunch of barrels that came in this week, and this is one of them, as you can see. And if you noticed anything unusual about this, there is a bolt sticking out the back of the barrel and the bolt is cut in half, okay? The reason uh, that that looks like that is because somebody was running this barrel on a machine gun, had the failure that we're referring to, and the bolt got stuck in the barrel. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of go over this and, and share with you guys and give you a visualization of what causes this failure. Um, so first off, uh, this, this specific failure can happen in various um, degrees of severity, I guess is the right word. And I have another video on how to specifically clear this jam properly. Um, it's on our channel and it's um, titled how to free up a, or how to free up a locked up M60 for your reference. Now in that video, I say and go over that you're not always going to be able to clear this out. And that was the case with whomever owned this barrel. And um, it's because he had the most severe uh, type of failure that you could possibly have. Now, what causes this? So we have a, um, a barrel collar uh, that is stripped. We have a couple bolts here. And you know, when this is, when your bolt's in the gun and your barrel's in the trunnion, you know, your, your bolt cams in and rotates like that, right? So it cams in, rotates, fires the round, boom, and then rotates out. What causes this to get stuck in there, at least in this specific case, is a case rupture, which then blows up the extractor on this, okay? So, um, in other words, you're, you're firing this, you have your uh, detonation of the cartridge, and then it's an out of, I don't wanna call it an out of battery, it's a case rupture. And what it does is it, um, blows this extractor upward and out of the seat. And when it does that, this can't rotate out. Okay, it can't. Now, in some cases, when you're trying to clear this, again, watch the video that I made on how to clear this, you can sometimes knock it out and as it's camming out, the extractor will go back into the socket and enough so that you can get it out. And, this extractor just sits in here like this. And the only thing that holds this in place is this tiny detent, if it'll focus. So this tiny detent and spring goes in that pocket, it gets compressed. And then, uh, and then it attaches to this small back lip on the extractor. So, as you can imagine, a catastrophic failure, like a case rupture, can cause this to happen. So let's take a little bit uh, of a closer look at this. Um, this bolt is milled in half because obviously they couldn't uh, clear this failure up and it had to get cut on a six axis mill just so they could get the barrel out of the gun. Um, and if we look here, uh, you can see why. Um, this uh, right here is the, the bottom uh, or the top of the bolt. That's the extractor there. And it's, it's tough to see, but it's totally blown up. And by blown up, I mean it's blown out of the uh, extractor pocket. And no matter what you do, you could be beating on this with a hammer and just doing everything in your power to get this to rotate out. It's not gonna rotate anywhere because it's just this hardened steel extractor 
mashing into the side of the chamber. And that extractor has to be flush with um, the bolt, the bolt head in order to rotate out of here, which is again, why it's still in this barrel. And just a closer look, like whoever undertook this really gave it a heck of a fight to try to get this out of the gun. Um, you can see here, it was in a vise. These these gnarly marks on here are from this being in a vise and then pounding on it. You know, if you look at the back here, the gas nut is totally cut off. That's because when this was sitting in the in the gun and the receiver, they they wanted to be able to rotate this barrel from side to side. So they had to get this out of the gas tube of the receiver. So they cut that probably with a cutting disc by the looks of it. And that didn't do it. You can see the gas extension is threaded out. So um, everything they tried, and it looks like they really, really tried, they were unable to clear this. And here it sits still. So I guess the, the point of this video is if you encounter this failure, you know, watch my step-by-step -step video on how to clear it. And if you can't get it out, this is just going to have to go on a mill. And that's just the way it is. And uh, you just have to carefully cut it off to, uh, to, um, uh, sorry, I'm looking at a trend here to, uh, get this barrel out of the gun. Okay. Cause as we can see, you know, if, if that's in, a receiver trunnion there's no accessing this it's just locked in there so you can see back here they that's right where they cut it right behind the trunnion and then they were able to get this out so that's just a closer look at this and you know with anything when you're able to like see this and and get a visualization of what's actually occurring inside this receiver it's easier to formulate a plan and get the, the issue resolved. So uh, lastly, what we're gonna go do is we're gonna very carefully pick this extractor out using pick tools and whatnot. And then once we get that broken extractor out, we'll be able to rotate what's left of that bolt out of there. And um, I won't uh, record that whole thing and bore you guys to death, but once I do get it cleared up, um, if I get it cleared up, I'll, I'll uh, throw in a video of what, whatever the casing looks like in there, which it's still in there. And um, usually uh, steel cased ammo is a culprit for this. So just to kind of show you how we're freeing this up, you can see we got the extractor back in that pocket, basically by using punches and rods just to uh, get it seated back in there. So now we're going to go ahead. I got to put this down. I don't have a stand up here and I'm going to rotate this out. I'll get a pair of vice grips on there, lock them on real tight and then rotate this out of there. And again, sorry for the poor filming here. I wasn't really planning on filming this part, but we can see we have our vice grips on it and uh, you can kind of see there she goes. So there's the bolt face. You can see the top of the bolt is completely blown out. It's missing a chunk, which is why this whole thing happened to begin with. And let's see what's in here. That is ugly. All right, so just to wrap this video up, we've cleared all these broken pieces out and um, we'll put this barrel back in service once we perform a little bit more of an in-depth inspection on it, make sure it's good to go. But just to show you this, now that we have this free um, and in some good light, the whole top of the bolt's blown out, as I mentioned before, we can see um, this uh, deformed extractor. That's where it was just wedging itself into the side of uh, the chamber when they were trying to get it out. Bolt face looks all right. This was just totally blown out. Here's the casing that was in there that we got removed. And you can see the whole back end of that thing blew out. Clearly, that is what uh, caused this. Um, 
there's just a piece that fell out of it that was uh, on the bolt face. So again, this is the worst possible catastrophic failure that you can experience with an M60. And, um, you know, I hope this was helpful and it gives you a little bit of an insight into uh, what's going on if you find yourself in this situation with, where you can't get the bolt out of the barrel. I appreciate everyone's support. I appreciate all the business that so many of you guys give us. And um, I hope this video was helpful. All right, thank you.